Virgil, it's simple, right? Yeah. Say for instance, if I meet a bitch, right? right? Hey, bitch, what's up, bitch? You know what I'm saying? Hey, bitch, you need some real good pimping. And you like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bitch, let it be Pippi Kim for the money, bitch, or for the record, bitch. Right. Not the record too small. We need it for the album, bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm talking I'm popping this shit, right? right. I say, yeah, bitch, I'm going to have you looking good, all this shit, bitch. I'm going to put diamonds on you and all that shit. Right. Why should I tell a bitch... Tell the bitch the dream. No, I want to be the dream. I want to pull yeah, up with the Mr. Yeah, Diamonds, yeah, for real. the Benzes, the Rolls yeah, Royces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be King got chose with his mouth closed, nigga. That's because every dream you was selling the bitch, nigga. I was the dream, nigga. Right. Quit selling the bitch the dream, nigga. It lived the motherfucking dream. And that's the problem with a lot of these niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? They fixed up garbage can. You know what I'm talking about? They monkeys with no pockets. You know what I'm right. talking about? They stop signs. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So the hoes is stopping right there, and the hoe can't get to the real pivot, man, because a lot of this sipping going on. You know what I'm talking right, about? Right. So you got to have an automatic sip separator. You know, you got to be able to separate the live from the jive. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, me? Yeah. And a lot of hoes, you know what I'm saying, me? They know that. You know what I'm saying? When you selling a bitch a dream, right. and you tell a bitch, hey, bitch, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. And then Virgil got on one ring, that's 22 carats, right. that's worth $107,000. Right. Why should I wait Damn for your dream when I can just go right and get, right. get with the Virgil dream? All right, so I'm going to explain this video the best way I can. So what I'm picking up in this video from an ex-pimp, is that he's just explaining real versus fake. He's saying, why should I, if you were, as a female, why should I deal with fake when I could just go deal with real? That's what a lot of people don't understand. That's what a lot of people fail to realize. That's going to happen to them in the psychology of women. Women think this all the time. You ever see a female in high school and you're like, man, why is she with this guy? Well, first of all, that's feminine on your part. And second of all, it's because he got what you lack. Confidence. Like, look at the way, I want y'all to play this video back and just look at the way Pimp and Ken was talking to the other pimp that was there next to him. You know what I'm saying? He had so much confidence. Like, you guys are not going to go up to a woman calling her a bitch ten times in a row. Let's be honest. Y'all are not going to move that way. And that's the biggest thing in all of this that I want y'all to pick up on. The female psychology. Because I even said to myself, I said... Man, if I was a female, I'd probably be like, why? I'd probably be like, why is he so um, arrogant? But when you think about it, like, because most of y'all going to go up to a female and be mad nervous. But if you're in a club setting and you're mad nervous, you know, you're in the corner drinking your drink and stuff like that. And you're, you're nervous. You need to get liquid courage. You're in the corner and he woke up on her. Hey, what's up? What's up, bitch? How you doing, bitch? Blah, 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 blah. Bitch, 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 bitch. By the time he get to that 13th bitch, she gonna be like, damn, ain't nobody in this club gonna ever talk to me like that. Like, I could come here for the rest of my life to the same club. Ain't nobody gonna talk to me like that. Because he's, what is he, what is he showcasing? He's showcasing dominance, take it or leave it attitude. He's showcasing that I don't care. I'm not scared of nobody you know. And also, you need me. I don't need you. See, if y'all do not up your level of ego and confidence and arrogance, you will never pull the eights, the nines, and the tens. I hate to say, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's really good news because I'm showing y'all that you could talk to a woman the same way he just talked because he's not lying to you. He's an ex-pimp. That's how he used to talk. See, a lot of, a lot of men got a misconception that, oh, I got to be nice. I got to be cool. I got to be cordial. And where has that gotten you so far? I'm not telling you to walk up to a woman and say what he just said. But that's because he's a pimp. 
but I'm showing you what you can get away with. You don't have to continue to be a nice guy. You just don't. There's no rule. There's no rule that says you have to do it. That's just your natural disposition that you were given, but you can change that anytime. I'm talking to the fellas out here. I need to realize this. You know, it's been times, and I'm, he took me back to my childhood. It's been times where I disrespected females and got, got the female to go. And it's not because I did it on purpose, you feel me? But it's because she really, so a lot of these women, they like it, you feel me? And they will try, they will test you to see if you're about, if you're going to you move that way. Now that I'm older, I really don't do it too much, but I'm just saying, like, it happens here and there because it's, it's, it's real. And that's what Pimp and Kim was talking about. He was like, why would she deal with fake if she could deal with real? Women are just going to test you out to see how real you are, how fake you are. That's really, that's the game. But I'm about to get out of here, man. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think about this clip. I'm out of breath. See you on the next video.